Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. It's sort of tutorial. It's a let's build series, so it's sort of like a tutorial. Uh, today what we're going to be starting is a brand new um, project. So it's going to be a haunted forest. I wanted to brainstorm some ideas before we get started. And then what we can do is we can start working on some textures, some features, and stuff like that. So um, what is the kind of general idea. The general idea is basically to make something spooky, something like a, um, I don't know, something that you would see in something like the Headless Horseman kind of movies and stuff like that. So something dark, very spooky like. So we know that we're gonna need some dead trees. So dead trees we probably want some textures for that so we'll probably want uh, some uh, dead logs and I don't know if we're gonna have leaves we might be able to do some branches or something um, we'll see what we can come up with uh, we might be able to model some stuff so um, could do some branches so maybe the dead branches and then we probably want uh what else what else does the trees have some roots and stuff um that's about it for the trees uh let's go over to something else so the environment what we're going to want is some plants so we want some uh dead grass not sort of like a yellow color, probably more of a brown, dark color. Uh, we're going to need some terrain for the actual landscape. So terrain. And we're going to need probably dirt for that. We're going to need stone. And we're going to need also grass. So the actual grass part and all that has to be custom so that will be the main part uh, we might want to add some custom liquid as well so i haven't actually played around with liquid yet so not a lot like a long time ago i did but uh, i didn't really understand and there wasn't a lot of support yet for it so there was really limited to what i could learn so we might want to make some custom liquid Something maybe that will damage the player, but not set things on fire or something like that. Um, all right, so that will be that. And then we're going to need, um, what else are we going to need? We're probably going to need some structures. So structure wise, uh, we're going to need the trees. So dead trees. We're going to need probably maybe some smaller structures that all kind of bring up the environment, something to actually go there for. So maybe a cemetery or graveyard. And um, what else could we add in there? Uh, some broken down houses, um, ruins, and... I don't know, maybe some walls and stuff like that. I, I, what else could we add? We could add dead trees, graveyard. Uh, we could probably add a dungeon, maybe. Something underground, maybe, or in one of the trees. We could have like a larger stump for a tree or something like that. And... Yeah, that'll be good to start. Uh, as we progress, we can basically add on to this list. So this is what we'll start doing today is we'll start working on the train. Uh, that will be the most important thing so we can get the done or the the actual dimension set up. And then we can start working on some of the other things like the dead tree, get the logs and stuff like that set up. But we need to actually create some textures first. So Let's go ahead and make uh, some uh, haunted, um, actually we need 16 by 16, so canvas size 16 by 16, and we're going to need some haunted uh, dirt. So we'll go ahead and 
create a template for what we're going to work with. So I'm just going to create a separate image. Uh, doesn't matter what size and then we can kind of just use this as a template for our colors and stuff like that. So I want something a little bit dark and gloomy. So maybe something on the green scale, but more on the brown scale, something like right in here, something really dark and gloomy, right? I'll bring down the saturation. It'll probably be a medium saturation environment. So something around uh, 50 and we'll go about 30. Let's see what this is. That's not really the color I'm looking for. Maybe a little bit more brown. Go into about 40, yeah, sort of. Let's go a little bit lower, uh, say about four, 35. Yeah, that's getting closer, that's getting closer. I like that color, so we'll work with this color. Uh, we'll just use the paintbrush, uh, make sure that the pixels aren't blurring so we can have a static color and we'll set the brush size to that. Just kind of bring that into here so we can kind of see what the color is. All right, and then we're going to need a few different shades of that. So we'll go about five up and five up on that. Maybe not too much, maybe about three. So that'll be the lighter one. And then we want one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, a little bit lighter. And then one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five. So this is kind of like the template that we're going to start with. And then we're probably going to want uh, shading colors. So this will be our shading and then we want something for highlights. So these three will be in our between. So we need one more color. So about five, one, two, three, and this will be our highlight color. All right, so that'll be the basic thing for the, um, probably the grass block. Uh, for the actual dirt, we probably want to go with something a little bit darker than that. So we'll select that again, and then we'll go ahead and make it, I don't know, bring it down to something like 15. That should be good to start with. So that'll be our, um, we should probably go ahead and... I'm looking for a little bit of a reddy color, so make sure that's on 30, and then we'll kind of bring that into here. I think that, that color will go well with that. I don't know, we might want it a little bit darker, so we'll go probably 20. I don't know if that's going to be too dark. That might be too dark. Uh, we'll add a little bit more orange. Yeah, that might work and increase the saturation a little bit just so it stands out maybe a little bit lighter yeah that will work okay so we'll do that for a lighter one and then what we'll do is we'll increase that by five and then increase this by three and that will be our second shade and then we'll go one two three and then one two three four five and that'll be our next shade and then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. And then we'll go one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. Oh, oh, wrong one, that way. Perfect, okay, so that will be our dirt. And that will be our kind of our grass color. We might even want to make it a little bit more uh, darker. So what we wanna do is kind of just adjust the color here and we'll just play around with the settings a little bit make it a little bit um, more contrast and stuff we'll just make it a little bit gloomier uh, probably go ahead and not sure if this will work because I want it um, play around with the uh, hue offset a little bit that might be okay Actually, let's uh, reset that, and then what we'll do is we'll just see if we can't get the hue a little bit more different, and we'll add less contrast. 
darken it a little bit maybe and add yeah that looks a little bit more right I don't want it too yellow because it's going to be like a really dark environment uh, we might even want to go um, a little bit more less uh, what do you call it have less color for the grass so something kind of like a pale brown so something like that maybe pale yellowish color Let's see if we can't get something in like that okay I'm pretty happy with that okay so that and then what we can do for the, the white here uh, we'll just basically fix up the white and just clean all that up there we go okay so that will be our grass color that will be our actual thing for the uh, dirt and then we're going to need probably um, yeah we'll get started with that I think and then we need to go over here grab that color for the dirt uh, we'll start with the middle one We'll fill in the middle and then we'll add the detail so this will be the dirt and then we can go ahead and grab the darker one and we'll just kind of work on getting the texture in and then we can add the lighter texture and then what we can do is we can start working on the shading and stuff so that will be good for that part and then we'll go with the lighter one and then we can kind of just add some lighter te texturing okay and then what we can do is start working on the lightest color so this will be just for detailing so basically stuff that will kind of highlight stuff it's not really used too much for any shading or anything like that so just stuff to kind of outline the uh, stuff with so kind of go like that and then what we can do is for the darker one we could do the really dark shapes and stuff like that in here okay so that should be good uh, let's make sure that it's seamless so what we're going to do is we're going to create a 32 by 32 texture and then we're just going to paste this in and then what we're going to do is just make sure that the sides are basically seamless so as you can see here um, looks like all the textures actually align perfectly the first time that we made it so we're not going to need to worry about creating the dirt texture anymore we got that all set up I am going to create a little bit more noise in that area um, that would be right in here ish area so what I want to do is kind of grab the lighter color and I'm just going to go ahead and bring it in like that I think that's the only thing that really needs to be done okay I'm pretty happy with that alright so there's that and just looking on the part here um, might want to create just a little part right there just to kind of separate that a little bit kind of blur it in uh, reason for that is because it looked a little bit tiledish in that area so we don't really want the tiling and then we'll just bring it over here and we'll quickly take a look at how it looks now when images tile and stuff like that it basically looks really bad uh, when you're at least working with things like terrain and stuff like that if you're working on things like um, 
man-made blocks for tile like like actual tiles or uh, stone bricks and stuff like that then they can actually tile but uh, you don't want them to generally tile when they're basically used for things that repeat constantly uh, things like terrain leaves um, foliage things like that will look really bad if it's tiled so all right so that looks pretty good uh, there's still a little bit of tiling in there, but it's hardly noticeable now, so that should be fine. Uh, we're going to save that texture. We'll just update the changes, and we'll save this one as Haunted Dirt. Dirt, and then we just need to add some grass to that. So that was our dirt texture. Then we need to add our grass texture to that. So we're going to just go over here, kind of bring... It's something like that. I think that'll be good. And we can just kind of brush on the grass texture. So something like that. Just make it look a little bit spooky. And then what we can do is we can do the low coloring. And then we'll add light or dark coloring uh, or texturing. So I kind of want it to look something like this. See how this turns out. Okay, so there's that one. And then what I want is the lighter one, or pardon me, the darker one. something like that and then we're going to need the highlights so the highlights will be for the parts that are like that so we'll kind of bring that in like that we could probably do some of this And then we're going to need the shadows as well. So we'll bring that in here, kind of add the shadows. All right, so that's basically that. Uh, what we also want to do is basically grab our darker texture here. And we're going to go ahead and drop that down five blocks, so something about there. And we're going to decrease the red value a little bit. And we're going to set the um, transparency to 128. And then what we're going to do is just kind of outline the um, actual part down here. So we're just basically adding some shadowing. And what this will do is kind of make it look a little bit more stand out when it's actually being um, up against the thing. So hopefully this will work out fine. So we'll kind of do that. Okay, and then I just want to see what it looks like when it's connected, so that looks pretty good. Could even work on the lighter part a little bit here. Uh, bring that down to about there, I think that would work better. So we'll just set that to 16 by 16. Where is it? Like that. And then we can save that as our grass side texture. Haunted grass side and then we need the top texture so what we can do for the top texture is very similar to that part uh, we'll just um, we have that already over there so we can just uh, clear this and then what we'll do is we'll go ahead oh have I been saving this as a paint.net file we'll have to fix that in a little bit okay so we'll select that and or select our colors again so I'm just going to draw kind of like a line 
part and have, um, actually we can probably just fill that in. And then what we'll do is we'll grab our lighter and darker colors. So like this, and we can kind of just do splotches of the um, texturing like that. And then we'll do our darker ones. And then we'll fill in with the gray just a little bit just so it's uh, not so pixelated. And then we can start adding in our, uh, what do you call it, our highlights. And we'll add in our dark shadows. That might be too much shadows. We'll just try to keep it a little bit lower. So that should be good. Um, we want to also pixelate it a little bit more so it's not so um, bright. So we'll just fix up some of these areas that are um, very large in scale. And then what we can do is it will hopefully um, not be as big when it comes down to that. So just shapes like that. We want to keep it mostly lines with the grass, right? So something like that um, that's already that color so we're going to need a different color for that uh, probably like that so that should be our color there uh, for that part we're going to need to kind of bring that around like that and bring that up a little bit so that should be good okay now let's just make sure that this is seamless Should be mostly fine. Yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, so this will be our grass top. And we need to flatten that texture as well. And the other ones that we basically saved. Make sure that it's a PNG file instead. And that means we just need the stone, right? So. We got the dirt, we got the grass, we don't have the liquid yet. And let's just make sure that we have the other two textures saved as PNG files. So we'll compile that into one layer and then we'll do the same for the other one. And then we'll save that as a PNG. And save the other one as a PNG. Okay, so for the stone, uh, we're just about running out of time. So I'm going to get the stone done and then we can do the, the liquid and stuff like that next time. But uh, what I want is a darker version of this. And I'm just going to paste that over here, deselect the white, and then what whoop, And then what we can do is we can kind of adjust this a little bit. So we'll kind of lower the color a little bit more uh, to about 30, and that should be good enough for what we need to work with with the stone. And I'm going to just grab that, uh, grab a color here. And then I'm just going to fill in this with the main color. And then what we can do is we can work on 
the dark shadowing well the darker color so I'm just going to kind of make it more of a line based texture that kind of goes from side to side I think that will look better so something like that and then what we're going to do is we're going to grab the lighter one and we can kind of bring it in like that just experimenting really so okay maybe not that one go like that a little bit and then we're going to need the highlights so oh, was that our highlights or grab that try again nope that's that's our highlights all right so we'll bring in our highlights just a little bit and we're going to need our shadowing as well So that should be good. Pretty happy with that. Uh, now let's just make sure that it's seamless. Okay, there is some parts that could be improved. Mainly that one right here. Uh, what we want to do is just grab that and kind of blend it in a little bit more. And we'll kind of bring that up there. Um, outside of that though, that could be brought down a little bit and that needs to go up a little. All right, let's try that again right here. We'll just make sure that they align. Yeah, that looks pretty good. All right, so we'll use that for a stone and then we can basically save that as haunted stone. And we're just gonna quickly create the blocks and I'm just going to save actually our template here um, as save as uh, template one and then we can go back to it if we need it we don't need anything else though from there okay so we have the workspace and then we just need to import our resources so we're going to import our blocks, go to our desktop. We want haunted dirt, haunted grass, haunted um, stone. We'll import those. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and create a block. Call this uh, haunted dirt. And we'll select our texture here. Uh, we don't need to worry about all that. Hitboxes is fine. We can set the material to dirt. Uh, we'll set this to 0 0.3 maybe. I don't know what the hardness for dirt is. So we'll probably go probably... Uh, do we want it to be a little bit more resistant and hard to break? So maybe about 1. I'm not sure what the hardness for dirt is. But we'll go with 1 and maybe 5. 5 and 1 or 2.5 maybe yeah we'll go with like 2.5 for hardness and the resistance will be like 5 um, as the gravity yeah that's fine all that sign fine we want it to sound like soil uh, tool to break will be a shovel uh, hardness should be probably maybe an iron um, tool and I don't think that will matter too much if we're using that though. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the material to rock. So we have to use a iron shovel. And as far as the dropping and selection, we can leave that the same. Advanced properties, um, we'll set this to kind of like, 
I don't know, pausal maybe, the pausal texture or color uh, reaction to being pushed. We can leave all that uh, the same. Uh, plants can sustain on this block. We want to enable this. And uh, let's see here, tick randomly, that's fine the way it is. Uh, MBT, we don't really need that right now, as far as I know. And others, all this is fine. We can just save that. I'll duplicate this, and then what we'll do is we'll go haunted grass, and then we'll basically update our texture. So this one here, our side textures. And then what we'll do is we'll just update this, the name. And we're gonna make this a little bit harder to break, so we'll set this to three. Uh, blast resistance can stay, stay the same. Uh, pausal, um, yeah, we'll probably keep it as pausal still. And all the other things can be the same. All right, and then what we want to do is create our stone texture. So what I'm gonna do is actually duplicate that again. Haunted stone. And then we can basically just uh, change the texture for this. So we want to select our, our stone texture for all of these. So it's like that. Uh, we'll use the water for the default texture and hitboxes, that's fine, haunted, stone, and we're going to set the sound for this one to be stone. Uh, the hardness and resistance, we'll probably leave, probably set this to 3.5 and we'll set the resistance to maybe 10, I don't know, something like that. Uh, it should drop stone for now. Uh, we can adjust that later. Uh, the rock, though, it should probably be a darker color, maybe uh, gray or I don't know. Uh, probably like a dark. We can go obsidian, maybe. Yeah, we'll go with the obsidian. I like that. All right, and then we'll go with uh, that. All this is fine, so we can just save that there. And then we just need our dimensions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly create the dimension. And we're going to go ahead and just say uh, haunted. Um, yeah, we'll just call it haunted. And for our main filler block, this is basically the stone. So we want this to be our stone texture. Uh, fluid, we can just set as water still. And for default, biomes we don't actually have a biome yet uh, so we'll just uh, set a badlands for now and uh, sleep attempt we want to allow override overworld behavior um, yeah we could do that uh, respawn player can respawn here yes uh, default disable ambient light now um, Disable. I think this has to do with um, dark dimensions. So yes, we want to disable that. It has a skylight source. Now I'm going to leave that disabled because I want it dark. And the fog I do want enabled. So that, what I'm, what I'm going to do with the fog color is kind of go with like a kind of a gray color and um, enable dense fog. I don't know if I want hugely dense fog, but we'll enable the dense fog. Uh, maybe like a lighter color, something like that might work. Well, we can always adjust it. Water vaporizes, we don't want that. Uh, portal, we're gonna disable the portal for now and we can just continue. And then we're going to go ahead and add our first biome for the haunted one. So we need to go biome haunted forest and then what we're going to do is just select our ground block which is our grass texture or our grass block and then we're going to set our dirt texture below that and air quality and everything like that um, we can 
adjust that uh, later. Uh, we probably want to go with the air color, make it a little bit darker. So we'll kind of go kind of maybe that uh, foliage, water, water where we might want to go with kind of like a dark color as well. And water fog, we probably want a little bit darker than that. Maybe not that dark. Okay, let's uh, go to RBG and we'll set this to 22222. That should be dark enough. And foliage. Uh, we'll have to use our color code for foliage. Let me just grab the grass color. Uh, we can use the hex index. So that's our dirt texture. This is our foliage. So this can be the foliage can be the lighter one. And we'll just grab that hex. And then we'll go ahead and set our foliage to the lighter one. So that one right here. And then we can basically set our grass color to that one right there. Grab the hex ID. And then we'll set that to here. And that should be good. All right, so that's their uh, features. These don't actually work in this update, so we can just, well, a lot of them don't. So we're just gonna disable all this uh, for the time being. And as far as the frozen layer, we can disable that. We can enable ores and caves should generate, I think still, if I remember correctly, so that's fine. Or maybe it's these that don't generate. I think these don't generate. So we're just gonna leave that as it is. Effects and stuff we can uh, add later. Generation. Um, biome weight, that's fine. Uh, we don't want it to generate in the overworld though. And we're gonna go back to the haunted one and just update the biome so it's like that. Perfect. All right, so that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll quickly hop into game and we'll just take a look around. Uh, one thing that I did remember though is this should be set up to allow plants on it. We want to disable that, so we'll just disable that now. Um, so next time we'll basically won't run into any plants being on the stone and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it's been pretty productive. Uh, we've got our dirt textures done, our grass textures. Uh, we'll have to use a command to get to the other world. So we'll go creative just so we can test it. And I'll have to update the rendering, rendering distance and stuff, but um, we'll do that in just a second. Okay, I'm gonna need options, disable that. Controls, auto, auto jump disabled. I don't know why the settings aren't configured like this by default. Okay, so we'll grab that. And then we can just use a command to quickly hop into the other world. So we want to go execute um, in, and then we want our other forest. So we want to, whoop. as, oh, no, we want to run and then TP at P okay. We should be in the Oh yeah, that looks really good. Yes, I I like this. Okay, there's some water here. It feels very um, hard to see. Um, very spooky though. There's that light ambient color in the background there. We could definitely work with this. We might even want to um, 
do some stuff. Now, I'm not sure how the grass is actually turning out, so let's uh, place down torch just to see what we're looking at. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Might be able to get some plants or some blocks with lights in here, just so it's a little bit easier to see, but uh, outside of that, that's really good. The fog density and everything. And let's just go down here and take a look. Yeah, that looks really good. Looks like there's a little thing down there. All right, so outside of that, if uh, you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.